Forget that. We might be very proud of our All Blacks and hobbits and mountains, but the fact is there's only one thing New Zealand means to foreigners. You're going to New Zealand? The sheep capital of the world? Uh, they, they all know the statistic, you know, there's 15, whatever it is, sheep for every person. And they genuinely think, a lot of them, that the sheep just wander, like, around the streets. You know, you go somewhere, you go to London, they're all like, ah, you're all sheep shaggers, aren't you? It's like, yeah. People overseas generally do believe that we shag sheep. It's not like a joke. But the thing is, we really do love our sheep. They move nicely and they have a nice noise that can go in the background. And if one of them goes, Bleh! you know, you go, what? Sorry, mate, what's that? In Tikawesi, they recently staged a sheep run designed to rival Pamplona's running of the bulls. Get him right. And it did! We'd almost convinced the world there was more to us than sheep when this thing turned up. He was the mother of all sheep, a wild weather with the thickest coat of wool in Christendom. And if you were to stretch these fibres end to end, they would reach right around the world. An instant star. Shrek got FaceTime with the PM. More importantly, he went global. <laughs> As far as sheep like Shrek, I just feel sorry for it. I think that they, when they found it, they shouldn't have said anything and shot it. But they never shot Shrek. For a start, he had important business on an iceberg. Shrek, the woolly merino, was today shorn at sea, high on an icy plateau, drifting north from the Antarctic. How could we make this iceberg better? We can fly a sheep over there and shear it. What a stupid thing to do. Stupid, stupid thing to do. Can't believe we did it. If Shrek taught us anything, it's that our sheep own us, not the other way round. And maybe it's worth it, just for the sheep jokes. A man walks into the bedroom and his wife's in bed and he's got a sheep with him and he says, this is the pig. And his wife says, that's not a pig, it's a sheep. And he says, I wasn't talking to you. Why do we have women in New Zealand? Because sheep can't type. Now, we get a bit of flack overseas for the whole sheep thing. Ah, you sheep shaggers, they say. Well, this is what I say to them. Yes, actually, we do. We shag them. And then we send them over to you. And you eat them. Ah! Who's laughing now? All right, that's it for this week. We'll see you next week when we count down the top ten. See ya! Flossie! Here, yeah, boy! <laughs>